Yo, what's going on? Back with another video. And this is one of my favorite topics of all topics. And that is shifting. Now, give me a year ago, give me two years ago, I would have no idea what shifting means, what it meant. Even though it was always happening in my life and even though I saw it in my life constantly. So, I'm just going to read something which goes along with this, obviously from the man himself, Neville Goddard, who speaks about something which is interesting, which is creation is finished. So essentially, all different types of versions of yourself, right? And this ties into what I believe the multiverse is, which is that people like to think of the multiverse as you get all this multitude of universes out there in space. And then there's an infinite amount of versions of yourself living out there. Like you could take a spaceship and if you flew far enough, you'd be able to get to another universe where you live. And there's so m many infinite universes that there's actually an exact replica of your exact life happening in a different universe. I get that if you're watching a Doctor Strange movie or something, but in my opinion, what that, what the multiverse is, is essentially the infinite amount of versions of you that are within your mind, because the whole world, the whole universe is mental, is mind, God is mind, source power, energy, whatever you want to call it, is mind. And everything is created within that. So when, it, when they say creation is finished, I'll read you with something that uh, Neville Goddard says in his book. And the book is called The Power of Awareness. I definitely recommend it to anyone. But he, this is basically what he says when it comes to creation is finished. So Isaiah 46, verse 9 and 10 says, I am God, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things that are not yet done. So essentially Neville then says, creation is finished. Creativeness is only a deeper receptiveness for the entire contents of all time and all space while experienced in a time sequence actually coexist in an infinite eternal now. In other words, all that you have ever been or ever will be, in fact, all that mankind ever was or ever will be, exists now. This is what is meant by creation and the statement that creation is finished means nothing is ever to be created. It is only to be manifested. What is called creativeness is only becoming aware of of what already is <laughs> i love that actually i love that and so that's essentially what he's saying there's all these infinite versions of yourself out there versions of you being homeless you being super wealthy you being a veterinarian you being dead you being a family person all of these realities are already finished they're just there for you to make manifest it's just for you to shift into that reality and so there was this one quote by William James who said a man can change his life by altering his attitude of mind and a lot of the times when I first read that I thought oh it's about having a positive mindset and that's not the case because being positive all day every day as some people try to do is exhausting the law of correspondence in the Kabbalion says that everything is living in correspondence, hot, cold, up, down. So it's actually impossible to just think you can be positive all day because negative corresponds to being positive. And the pendulum always swings. And as far as it swings one way, it will swing the other way. That's why they always talk about a true master knows how to stay right in the middle and be neutral and observe as everything happens. So 
Shifting is effortless. Shifting is you deciding this is who I am. These are the things I do. That's why Bob Proctor even speaks about how you write out a whole list of who you are, what work you do, what car you drive, what house you live in, your family, your, your wealth, your health, your love. Write it all out and read it every day. Get that mental image of yourself and then you'll change your attitude of mind. Your assumption of yourself will be of that person. And by living in the end, that's what will manifest in your reality. And I'll give you an example of it where I saw that creation is already finished. There's this game I used to play, an online shooter. And I played it for quite some time. And I learned a lot about the game. I try to learn all the tactics and everything you could possibly think about to get better at this game. And every time I played, I had this assumption that, you know, I'm just not as good as some of these other people. No matter what I said with my mouth, that's how I felt on the inside. And there was one game where I was doing extremely bad. My teammates were laughing at me. I had zero kills and we were losing. And... Out of frustration, I simply started saying to myself, like, I'm a professional. I'm a professional player. I'm a professional player. And it started off as just frustration. And then what happens is I started, all that energy started getting smaller and smaller. And I started internalizing it more. And all of a sudden, my shoulders dropped. My posture changed. I, was, I sat up straight. My eyes, I'm telling you. My eyes dropped this low. I had zero emotion. And I just started playing. And I was playing and I was playing. And I started going off. I started going off. Ended up being the match MVP of my team. And winning the game for us. And I... And that's what made more sense to me. Because there is already the version of me out there who is a professional player at that game, if you will. I just have to shift into that reality. So that's where the law of assumption, why it's so powerful, is because you're shifting into a possibility of yourself and you're shifting that reality to become that. And when you you become that, you aren't thinking of it. You're thinking from it, as Neville says. And that's what is more powerful than anything. So if you were to do something, say for instance, you wanted to become fitter. So when you start shifting into the reality of, I'm this person, I'm fit, I'm strong, the action will start to follow that. You will then think, okay, well, if I'm this person now, you'll automatically be like, I should be running. I should be exercising, I should be training, eating healthier. But you can't serve two masters, as they say in the Bible, meaning that you can't sit there and affirm to yourself, I am this, I am that, I am wealthy, I am rich, but then walk around in the old programming, as Dr. Joe Dispenza says, the old you, which is you still shifted into that old reality of you. You can't serve two masters. You have to shift into that assumption and then remain faithful to that as long as you can throughout the whole day. And then you'll see your life unfold in front of you. So that's just what I, my thoughts on shifting, what I at least understand about it and what I've experienced using it myself. So as always, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up, share it if you know anybody who needs to hear this and subscribe if you want to see any more of these videos because i'm putting them out right now there's so much more that i want to put out there so check out some of my old videos thanks for watching one over there there and subscribe over here thanks peace